Synesthetic. News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, our Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook group, our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter at P Miller ENT. Also on SciSci, our podcast is a Prince Miller podcast. Just look for us on SciSci. Today is the 5th of April. Uh, 2022 and so guys here is the latest latest news and so the ruling party as an appeal has vowed that it will never surrender power to opposition parties saying it will rule for a very very long time and this was disclosed yesterday by the NPF secretary for administration Oben Pofinarari while officiating at a send off ceremony of the six party members set for a training stint at the Julius Nyerere Leadership Center in Tanzania. The center, which was built by the Chinese Communist Party on a 40 million US dollar budget, specialized in policy and leadership studies. Both described NPF as one of the most formidable political parties in Southern Africa. We are going to be in power for a very long time. We are not going to surrender power. We will always be the governing party, Both said. Of review that in January 2019, during a few protests, panicky President Emerson Nangagwa had to hastily dispatch the late Agriculture Minister Prince Shiri to Tanzania to lobby for support to squash the protest as he felt that his grip on power was under threat. President Nangagwa had to dispatch the late Air Chief Marshal Prince Shiri to lobby for support in Tanzania after the stay away. The late Tanzanian President John Magufuli promised unwavering support in, and said all regime change machinations will be twatted, both said. During three-day protest, security forces used lethal force to crush nationwide demonstrations after government had announced a fuel price increase by 150%. Security forces fired live ammunition on unnamed civilians, killing 17 people. Both reflected his liberation war credentials, claiming that he was trained in Tanzania during the liberation struggle. Tanzania was one of the first countries to train liberation fighters. I trained in, in, in Tanzania in 1968, where I was with the likes of Ambrose Mutiniri, who was an instructor then. Both said the 36 trainees were drawn from the ruling party, the public service, and other institutions. The Julius Nyerere Leadership Center prized this of in contextualizing problems and their solutions it draws from a wide variety of approaches that include innovative policy leading research quality dialogues youth training mentoring providing an important platform for distinguished african intellectuals and scholars so guys that's the latest here coming from uh one obed mpofu but iowa zanu pf is gonna rule forever and yeah, if you're thinking of removing zanu pf this is what Oben Bof was saying. And yeah, so uh I tell in the comment section this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. And yeah, so uh my elections are going next year, uh 2023. We need to go out there and register to vote. And uh, yes, this man is an UPF, he has been in government since 1980. I mean, uh, one to 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 feel confident and yeah just saying because he's just saying it uh, otherwise a result uh, next year so camera say more than what to next year no one knows and yeah uh, hey, anything can happen next year so to say that the pf is gonna be ruling zimbabwe for a very long time uh it's an understatement and yeah so uh it's too early to say this at the same time we need to play our part and go out there and register to vote. One poor for Ungo Taurus, Ungo Taurus, and I don't think he was serious about this. I don't think that he really meant what he said. And yeah. so, this is our daily news breaking news. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. And uh, follow us 
on Instagram and also our now on Sai Sai. Our podcast is a Prince Miller podcast. Just look for us on Sai Sai and be part of us. So, guys, do you agree with what Mpof is saying? If you don't agree, I just want you to comment in the comment section below. And Mundo and yeah, this is an open discussion. Remember, I did go to Kana, I did go to Shorana. Do fungo as our own pofu. I go to Iowa, I susu, Charamba Tiri, Postuka forever. And yeah, and these guys have been in power for like since 1980, and they are for like 42, 43 years. Yeah, why should we warm government day in, day out? And these guys are patient now as what he married since 1980. I mean, for 43 years in power, and uh, I mean, they've benefited a lot. I mean, Mpof is well known of having uh, so much uh, land in the Matabalan region in the Midlands. So, in, in short, uh, I mean, the man has benefited a lot and has benefited a lot for being as an NPF member of being in government since 1980. And as Katarina the just the land and properties i mean the man is one of the main men who benefited a lot during uh the mugabe era even in this uh second republic so it is what it is no money no but i still feel that uh you know no one knows no one knows and so this is a daily news breaking news Thank you very much for listening and watching. If you agree with him, you can comment. If you don't agree, you can also comment. Remember, I didn't talk about it. I didn't show it. Let's just discuss. This is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Bless up. Sinister.